some time. It doesn't necessarily have to be now, maybe a while back. Um, so not yet a little bit. Okay, so not yet busy. All right, so working on a portfolio is a uh, process. It's ongoing, so you don't have to feel... And I hope it's ongoing. Hello, Eduardo. Because um, it's very hard and it's not really practical to uh, come up with an e-portfolio all at once. It's, it's probably impossible because you do so many things online. It's a good idea to uh, track of what you do and uh, keep adding it, keep adding to it. Okay, and that's what it's all about. We've been working and talking about e-portfolios and the Mahara uh, for a few sessions now. Actually, the whole month of um, and we're of March, almost the whole month of March, and we're going to continue this in April as well. So um, you've got time to work right through the next month and continue afterwards. Moodle, you installed. Oh, okay. So you've got Moodle. That's great. Um, you can add Mahara to your Moodle. Is that what you mean? You installed Mahara on one of your domains. Exactly. Your to-do list can be part of your uh, e-portfolio. So if you could just add in the chat box for those of you that are new and have not followed the sessions, what it does an e-portfolio have? We talked about this, and you'll be able to get everything, all the information. Uh, oops, you'll be able to get the information from uh, the course, and that is learn to blend and flip. Oops. I'm trying to get the link. Learn to blend and flip with technology. Uh, here's the link to uh, the presentation. Okay, in the chat box, there's the link to the presentation. The reason I'm adding the presentation is that you can follow and the PowerPoint has uh, a lot of links that are clickable. You cannot click on the whiteboard. In order to access hello Josefina I believe Josefina is from is it hungry oh you've got ma would love to create a ma hoodle all right Tom and Roberta okay so when you say a Mahoodle is a combination. Thank you, Tom, for, for adding that. Uh, that's right. A Mahoodle is actually a combination of Moodle and Mahara. You can join the two. Because today's Moodle has uh, a feature. You can add a, an e-portfolio, but it doesn't have to be through Mahara. Okay, so uh, let's get started. Uh, the link, does anybody have the link to, uh, I can get it for you, the link to uh, the course where you can get all the previous live sessions on ePortfolios. Okay, so there's the link. I'm adding it to the chat box. How many of you are in the course? Uh, learn to blend and flip with technology. You can give me a thumbs up if you're in the course. Hello, Elena. Okay, so Mizba is, I know there are about 600 that are in the course, 615. So I think everybody should be there. I think, Eduardo, you just joined today, am I right? If I uh, got the numbers correct, all right. 
So you did the Moodle for Teachers Evo 2000, Roberta. Okay, so uh, let's get started. The um, the yearly course, uh, Learn to Blend and Flip with Technology is a yearly course uh, with a certificate as well. It's ongoing for a whole year so that you can go back and forth and go at your own pace. All right, so one of the, uh, what we did last month, or the month before actually, also, was a web quest. All right, so what we're going to talk about today is we're going to focus on collecting and reflecting. So in other words, you not only hoard uh, everything about yourself and what you do, you also reflect on your work. And this is really important because if you just collect information, it uh, doesn't have the ownership that uh, you may wish it to have. So we're going to talk about collecting and reflecting on the work that we do online. We'll talk about educational and work experience and what that means. We'll be talking about creating dynamic resumes and we mentioned that last time. And that's usually where people go crazy because it's usually a last minute thing that they need to do. So you're going to be working, finishing that. Well, it's never finished, but you're going to be working on that to a point this week and then uh, showcasing achievements. And what does that mean? Okay. So any questions about what we'll be talking about today? I was just listening to a class that I did on silence, on the importance of silence, even in a live online class. Not too much silence, but uh, that it's important to also give uh, the participants a chance to think and not just uh, have information thrown at them. Okay, so feel free to ask. I think, Jordani, you're probably there in that class. It was part of the ELT MOOC. All right, so let's start with collect and reflect on work. The idea is to break down what you do and think of all the things that you do online. I've written some things here. Uh, the people that you help. Okay, that's the first thing. If you can think perhaps of the kind of help that you've provided people, whether it's face to face or online as educators or as, as people. So what kind of help uh, have you provided others? Okay, so oops, we're talking about help. Exam support, okay, for example. See, these are things that you need to keep track of. Every time you help someone, you need to write it down because this is really important. It's a skill. It's something that you should be proud of. It's an accomplishment when you're able to help someone. It's not something that we take for granted. And you don't do it every day, or maybe you do. So, yeah, okay, Jordana, you probably never thought about it. Okay, but it's something that you do probably naturally without thinking about it in most cases. You don't really think when you help someone. You just do it. So let's see if I, okay, I got it, help. Personal help to the researcher. Great. So you need to write it down. Okay, um, what exactly happened? What did you do? You need to break it down. And breaking things down is what your ePortfolio is going to be about. 
something I do, but I don't archive those events and I don't reflect. Well, that's the idea. You know, we, we sometimes forget very important aspects of our personalities, the things that we do for others. And you're right, Jordana, all teachers do it, but most of us kind of forget about it. We do it and we forget. So the idea is to be mindful of everything you do and document it, write it down. And you can do this in your personal learning environment, whether it's a blog or a wiki. And you don't have to share it with others, okay? When we're talking about the Mahara, you keep it for yourself until you need it. And then you pull it up. Okay, these are some of my skills. Okay, we'll go on to the next one. The next one is volunteer. Okay, think about the service you provide as a volunteer. Okay, when did you volunteer? You probably forgot. Okay, so from now on, every time you help someone, document it. Every time you volunteer for any service, write it down. And sometimes they're connected. Okay, so uh, if you could just write down, have you ever volunteered? Think back. Have you ever volunteered, done something uh, without receiving payment? Okay, very good, Ms. Ba. Exactly, that's what you need to include in your e-portfolio. Okay, you need to collect. We're talking today, notice, about collecting. Collecting all this information either going back to your past or starting from today. Okay, so you can add that to your e-portfolio and we'll see where on the Mahara. I'm sure you do a lot of volunteer, but everything is important. Okay, Elena and everyone, so document. Okay, and then of course this is easy because it's very easy to uh, document when we got paid. All we have to do is go into our bank account Okay, hello, Valentina. And then we can get all the things that we did, all the paid work. Okay, that's pretty easy. Okay, if you had to um, go to your paid work. Okay, so anybody never get paid for what they do? Probably not. Okay, so this is easy. Okay, <laughs> yes, but you have to write it down. That's what you have to document. You have to document all the paid uh, work that you did. No paper proof. You have your bank account. You know when you got paid for something. Oh, YMCA, isn't that nice? Local soccer, excellent. That's wonderful, Tom. So these are the things that you need to document. There are a lot of skills there. They say so much about a person. You know, when they volunteer, what they volunteer, how they help. Now, your help could come, goes beyond your duties, whether it's in the volunteer organization or it, at your paid jobs, or it doesn't have to be a paid job. It could be um, consultation that you do, any kind of paid work that you've ever done. Okay, so um, next, personal life situation. Now, this is something to think about. What do you think this is? A pers personal life situations. What kind of personal life situations am I referring to? Any ideas? Life situations. Okay, this encompasses you. If you notice, this is about you. Problems, conflicts, travels. Nice. Um, that's right. And, and your travels and what happens when you travel. It could be hobbies. Anything that happens in your life, uh, the little things that you do, whether it's in sports, whether it's in uh, whatever, contributions, it doesn't have to be only uh, conflicts and problems. It could be good things. That's right. It could be things that, um, problems you manage to resolve, but it could be good things. Um, any Examples of good things that have happened to you in your personal life. 
Oh, you volunteer, you asked me. All you have to do, let me share the link with you. I'll get the link to share with you so that you can share with your friend right now. Okay? Yes. Here we are, Valentina. There, you asked for it, I remember. There it is. All you have to do, I hope it works. It should work. Okay? If not, I can get the link from uh, the class. Okay, let's see if I can get it for you. The link to the course, and then um, you can get it there as well. Okay, so think of good things that happen to you. It doesn't have to be negative or conflicts. Okay, um, here's the course. Okay, I'll get the class for you, um, Valentina, in case that doesn't work because sometimes um, links get things added to them. Okay, so Valentina, there it is. That might be better. Um, so let's see, good things, good things. Can you think of good things? Personal life situation that are positive. It's all positive because even through conflict, uh, you can learn so much. Yes, exactly, Tom. That's exactly what I was thinking of. Uh, when we had our first child, uh, we have three kids. I remember thinking, wow, what a miracle. <laughs> it was like I was the first person in the world uh, to have a baby. You know, it was so unique. That's right. So having a baby. Like a birth of a child is, is very special and it's something that you might want to write down as an experience. Okay, whether you're a father or a mother or an aunt, uncle, it, you know, a friend, godfather, godmother, and so on. <laughs> after four, okay, right. It doesn't get amazing after three either. It is, it certainly is. Uh, Lena, bump into people from your past, if that's a good thing. Okay, teachers, schoolmates, yes. Um, all right, so you have to start collecting. Okay, we're talking about collecting and reflecting on all these things that happen to us. And I call it work because it is work. Everything we do is work, you know, um, because it's part of us and we make an effort and our efforts uh, we should reward personal rewards for our efforts so that other people can recognize it and learn about it okay let's go to the next one the next one is quite easy for most of us and that's our professional work okay so document uh, what you do professionally happy mother's day to all mothers thank you Ajari. okay so that's a very good thing okay celebrations are also personal life situation things that happen if uh, somebody surprised you and all these little things make us who we are whatever happens to us uh, is us okay so if you want to put yourself what you're doing here is you're building yourself okay it's like you know uh, you're putting yourself together so you're taking every part of your life and that's you and that's what the eat portfolio is about it's about everything or oh, you celebrate every day that's wonderful okay uh, so document everything that you celebrate all right so we're going to continue this and I'll keep saying it so if you haven't started this and you don't want to go backwards then start now okay now what does it mean to share educational and work experience and why do you think I put them together okay why did I put education and work experience together any ideas why I would do that and notice the key word here is experience There we go. 
the magic of color. That's true. That's very true, Eduardo. That's right. We learn about ourselves, set goals as we work, also think as teachers. We teach uh, who we are as much as our subject. Teaching is a deeply personal act. It certainly is, Tom, to show past experience and skills, exactly. And they are complementary. Jati, they sure are. Okay, but anybody here not a teacher, if you could uh, maybe thumbs down if you're not a teacher, even though I think most people are teachers because at some point we all share information these days. Online, we're all teachers, basically, online. Anybody not consider? Mothers are definitely teachers, but so are fathers and grandmothers and uncles and, you know, the whole family actually, uh, you know, share. We educate each other. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yes. Okay, so think about our profession as being something very universal and uh, probably everyone is a teacher. That's right, in some aspect. Okay, because teaching is just sharing, sharing ourselves. Okay, so that's, so the key here is really experience. Okay, and uh, when we think of experience, it's the whole person, it's everything that happens to us. Right now, you are going through some kind of an experience. Okay, you are experiencing, experiencing a lot of things, a lot more than you realize, uh, which is uh, key here. You're experiencing uh, more than you can actually write down, okay? But after this class, write down things that came to mind. Hello, Helena, and welcome. Okay, so think about yourself. Reflect and think about what's happening to you. Okay, that's going inside and trying to... Uh, Observe, okay? So it's actually self-observation, okay? Self-observation. It's not so much what other people say about you, but you say about yourself, okay? That's important to you. All right, so we're going to start with the first thing, courses. How many courses have you taken? Can you document all the courses that you have taken? That's a pretty big job, but so you need to look Balki. Good to see you a lot. Exactly. And have you documented all the courses you took since you remember yourself? No. Well, it's time to collect. Remember, this is called collect and reflect. That's what it's about e-portfolios and today you're going to start collecting and everything is good it's like you know when we were kids we would write down take notes and put them in our drawer and maybe write a journal and keep a journal and well you don't need to keep notes you don't need to keep paper but you do need to collect and reflect not just collect but also reflect you made a big mistake, had missed a lot of classes just trying to keep pace. All right, so write it down, okay, Balky? Write down everything. Uh, the, the fact that you missed classes, what classes did you miss? Write them down. How do you feel about missing classes? So reflect, but reflect in a non-judgmental way. You don't want to put yourself down. You want to build yourself up. Okay, in order to build yourself up, you cannot be negative. Nothing is negative. Everything is positive. Try to look at things from a positive perspective and only see good because there's no point in building a negative e-portfolio because you're not negative. Nobody is. Okay? That's right, but that's, that's us. And you have to realize that we're all different. We are all different. 
So our e-portfolios will have different things and our reflections will definitely be different because no two people see things or reflect in the same way and that's what makes us unique and we are very very unique which is wonderful all right so let's take a look at uh see what color the courses now here it's also give and take notice the courses that you give and the courses that you took or take so how many of you take courses right now do you take courses I mean, it doesn't matter whether they're paid courses, free courses. You should all be taking courses, right? You should all be taking, um, this is a class, but there's a course called uh, Learn to Flip and Learn to Blend and Flip. Okay, so here is the course. Okay, so that's a course that you're taking. Everybody's taking a course. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. And if you're not, there's the link to the course that you can join and take. All right, so you have to document all the courses that you take, all the MOOCs, Moodle for Teachers 2012, 2013, 2014. Okay, so document them, write them down, and reflect. Don't forget to reflect. Not too much, you don't have to reflect too much, but just enough to, um, to have it documented so that you can go back. All right, so everything. Okay, next, skills. Now, this is a tricky one, so you can start with that. Collect and write down and reflect on your skills. The skills that you got from giving courses and taking courses now what kind of skills did you get right if you really have to it's a lot of work but you do it slowly you don't do it in one day it's a process okay it's a life long process all right so uh, skills what skills have you developed well there are a lot of skills if you can write down some of the skills as teachers uh, when we give courses when we give classes what kind of skills are we using ICT skills? If you can break it down, okay, basically communicative skill skills, excellent. We're being, emo what emotions are we using? Okay, that's also important. You play the guitar, great. <laughs> okay, that's wonderful. That's great. I've got two guitars at home with my kids left, but uh, except for Charles Gooden, Charles uh, Goodger, sorry, Charles Goodger, no one plays the guitar. I also have a piano that nobody uses except when guests come over. Oh, Marie, yes, Maria does play the guitar. Yes, I heard you play it and sing. Okay, so it's all these things are important because they're you. Okay, again, I'm going to repeat this a few times. Everything is you. Okay, so uh, keep that in mind. Wrote out a list of employ, employ, imply or employability skills. What are the qualities of characters of the prospective employers? That's very, very important. But that's not all because you don't know, Tom, what future, what the future holds because today's employers may have X skills. But five years from now, maybe 10 years from now, there'll be other skills. And if you don't document yourself and everything, all the things that you do today, uh, you, you won't have it for the future when they change the list because the list is going to change. I guarantee you. Okay, nothing is static, especially now with technology. All right, so... Uh, no, that's great. That's perfect for now. Okay, but we're not talking about up to now. We're talking about the future. You're preparing an e-portfolio for the future. So, ah, Helena's asking. So think of all the courses. Helena, this is what you can do. Think of all the courses that you gave. What skills do you have from the courses that you gave? And you can have a list of the courses. Online courses, face-to-face -face courses. 
So you've got communicative skills. Your, your spoken skill, you speak in a certain way. Your, how you hold yourself, your body language, your smile. The fact, Helena, that you smile when you teach, that's a skill. It's your particular skill. I'm presuming that, Helena, that you do smile when you teach. Am I right? Okay, you're going into you're going into hobbies and things like that. <laughs> I'm referring to the courses that you give. Okay, I'm not talking about your athletic abilities, but of course that's natural. But that's very visible. I'm talking about observing yourself. So next time you go into a classroom, Helena, Maria, Elena, uh, everyone here, Sarah, when you go into the classroom, Josefina, when you go into a classroom, Valentina, so you're going back and forth, try to observe what skills you are using in the classroom or whether it's online or face-to-face. -face. So what are you using? Exactly, Elena. That's a skill. And how do you do it, Elena? What do you do? Okay, now we're getting down to it. Very good, Elena. What do you do in the classroom to make your students feel comfortable with themselves? That's the result. But what are the steps, okay, that you take to get there? Okay, can you break it down? Remember I mentioned breaking everything down, observing and breaking it down and chill out. Okay, so break it down. When you say you treat them differently, what do you do exactly? What skills are you using? Josephina? okay, so you make everybody feel good. How do you do it? empathy exactly you show empathy how do you do it I'm gonna keep asking you until we go down to the basics okay and this could be just smiling at them uh, looking into their eyes so you have the ability to be with your students okay so it's up to you you're gonna come up with it okay but it's it's reflecting on a daily basis and coming up with all these wonderful skills the joking exactly your sense of humor oops and how you joke if it's virtual okay if it's virtual what do you do storytelling excellent it does Jerry exactly your ability to tell stories so think of how you comfort them and, and what you do exactly to make them feel at home. Okay, next is a bit easier, I guess, and that's, uh, let me try to get a color here, and that's uh, degrees, certificates, and badges. Okay, this is very different from skills. So what degrees do you have? Okay, so if it's a BA, MA, doctorate, uh, a few MAs, uh, okay, so you can talk about your uh, degrees and then certificates. My goodness, I mean, I must have certificates here that are in my drawers. <laughs> uh, there's so many certificates that we all have, but do we, you know, all you need to do is take your camera, okay, Bisma, take your camera, your cell phone, you know, whatever cell phone, iPhone, Android. Um, and, and take a photo, okay? And so you can document all your certificates for taking courses, for volunteering. I'm sure you have um, certificates for volunteering, certificates, you know, for being a great father, certificates from your kids, you know? Some of us, we get recognition, all these things, okay? So don't forget everything has to be online. So, Helena, you can, you didn't document them, but I'm sure they're somewhere and you can take their photos and add them. And the badges. <laughs> Those of you who took the Moodle for Teachers, Evo, and other Moodle MOOC uh, have badges. 
And I read something really interesting about the future. Tom was saying that what is up today for the future, badges, online badges are um, becoming very, very important. Birth documents, documenting that you were born, of course. First one, yeah. Uh, badges, okay. Helena, you asked once, uh, why are badges important? Why do I need badges? Well, apparently they're becoming very, very important. So badges are rewards that you received for uh, the courses that you gave or the courses that you took. And this is you, okay? It's you. Whatever you have is part of you, okay? So it's important to, we're talking about collecting and reflecting okay any questions so far as i said this powerpoint presentation is available you can take a look at it as you work on collecting and reflecting and then i'll show you where you're going to do this some of you have started we'll be talking about the mahara all right so uh, if you want to add anything in the chat feel free to do it Trying to get some colors here. Uh, let's see, great. Places. Places you have been to. Can you uh, start, if you didn't do it in the past, places you have been to. Places. Where have you been to in this world? But it's not just all over the place, in your own city. What places have you visited in your neighborhood, city, country, out of your country? I don't, know, I don't think any of you have been in outer space, but that could be the future too, if we're talking about institutions, exactly, places, exactly, very good, Belki, exactly, institutions. It could be any place. All right, so collect and reflect. And then descriptions of the places and the roles. What role did you have? Were you a student? Were you a teacher? Were you a gardener? I don't know. Um, if you do gardening. Uh, U.S. Hungary. Oh, you went to Hungary, Valentina? Beautiful place, isn't it? Jordan. Excellent. And if you have photos, you can add the photos, of course. But don't forget reflect, collect, and reflect. Don't forget the reflect. Just a few words. It doesn't have to be that much. So as you can see, an e-portfolio is, is your life. Okay? And I think that it's wonderful because you'll have a chance. You know, many people in the past felt, well, I need to write a book or I need to. This is your life. And uh, your life can stay you know, forever and ever online, okay? So uh, that's what you're doing. It's like a book, yes. An e-portfolio is your life. That's why I'm saying you can't do it in one day. You have to work at it. And it's better to start and go forward than to start from the past and then hopefully reach because you're, it's, it's going to take too long. So it's better to... Um, work from now and go back to uh, the past <laughs> and then Alita. Yes, one life, one life to live. That's right. And we're not talking about second life. You are living one life, Helena. One life. As far as we know. Okay, now let's get practical. Okay, you've got the ideas uh, of collecting and reflecting. And now we're going to look at a place. Are you familiar with the owl? Give me a thumbs up if you're familiar with the owl. I, I just love it and I send all my students there for writing basic academic writing. They've got everything there. Amazing. All right. So let me introduce you to the owl. Um, I'm going to get the link for you. Okay. It's, oops, let me get the link. It's clickable on the link. Here we 
There we go. They've got amazing things there. Uh, as English language teachers, I think that your students would benefit, but even you would benefit. Okay, so um, there it is. There's the link. And if you want the, uh, the PowerPoint presentation, <clears throat> let me share the link with you if you didn't get it. If you click on the image in the PowerPoint presentation, you'll be able to get it. Alina, you don't write correctly. Um, I don't think you mean spelling. So you can, yeah, there's a writing lab that you can uh, access. You can also learn how to conduct research. And it's all free. Everything that they have here is free. They also have ESL for students who are English as a second language. But they also have job search writing. And what we're looking at is resumes and curriculum vita. <laughs> they didn't put the curriculum. They just put vitas. Vitas is your life, as you know curriculum vitae and they have a workshop and their workshop is amazing okay and I think that we can all benefit from what they have out there so if you click on the link either on the PowerPoint presentation or in the chat box you'll get okay their uh, their site I'm not going to screen share because I think that you can go there later on if you just um, go through is it that one no that's the whiz IQ class okay so how many of you have written a resume I'm sure most of you have but you need something ongoing in other words your resume changes my resume is on Google Doc because it keeps changing anybody else have a resume or a bio I call it bio even though it's like a resume it's a bio and uh, I make it public and I keep adding to it or I try to keep it up to date okay, it's not always easy but um, it's important we have profiles and bios everywhere okay in other words we are forced to add our uh, bios everywhere online but sometimes they limit us and sometimes they don't it's um, it's a lot of work first of all if you noticed and on Google Google Drive it's a lot easier to keep it I'm trying to find mine um, and apparently it's uh, I have a lot of Google stuff. Okay, so if you don't have one, you might want to get one. Okay, get start a Google Drive document. Call it bio or whatever you want to call it. And let me share mine with you so you see if it's up to date or not I don't think it's that up to date but it's passable okay so here's mine there it is I think that's um, you know I don't know if you know about this but there's Google short URL anybody here of Google show because Google has these really long uh, links that uh, drive us crazy so uh, there is something called a Google short URL it's completely free because now um, some of them cost money but Google's short is completely free and I'm going to share it with you okay because I think it's really practical you can keep everything there in other words um, you can keep all your short links there 
I, I find it very, very useful. And of course, it's free, which I like. Okay, everybody likes. Uh, okay, and there are a lot of things online that are free. I don't know if. Oh, you got it, Belkis. Excellent. Yes. It's, oh, I see Marie Elsa. It's amazing. I just love it. Okay, so you can make your link short and keep it up, and then you'll see how many people you can analyze, how many people. And, and you can write about that too. That's a, a skill, okay? It's a skill. You don't think of it, but what you just did now, being able to search for things and um, find useful links and learning environments is a skill. Not everybody has it. Do you write it in the third person? Like what? Oh, that's a good question. That's a very good question, Elena. Um, some require it to be in the third person. I believe I wrote it in the third person. You're right. Yes. Uh, for academic reasons, yes. It is in the, it has to be in the third person. Yes, 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 that's right. Thank you for noticing that. You know, when I, when I uh, organize, MOOCs and presenters come and everything. I usually, I used to change it to the third person. Then I decided, you know what? It's an online, it's no big deal. So sometimes I, now I, I let people do whatever they want. Okay, we're not an academic institution. Uh, so why, why make it formal? But yes, I, um, you do have to do it for academic. And if you're interested in academic resumes, of course, um, Owl has a great workshop, as I mentioned. Okay, so, well, time flies. Another area is showcasing. Okay, it's not enough to collect and reflect. We want to showcase what we did, okay, because um, that's important. It's important to, because we're talking about e-portfolios, to put ourselves out there. Okay, in other words, uh, to make ourselves known. But before we make ourselves known, we have to make a list, collect our achievements. So if you think of all your achievements, what achievements, as far as you're concerned, because it's your point of view, and this is very important, it's not what other people say. If you feel that what you did or what you do is an achievement, then everybody else will feel that it's an achievement too. So you don't have to go by what other people do, by what you think. Okay, and, and again, we're talking about the future and the future, what you do, and if you're convinced that it's an achievement, other people will uh, follow up. And it may be something that we need in the future and you don't know what we need, so why not add it? Okay, so <laughs> thank you, Alita. So add everything that you think is an achievement because you feel that this is something that you're happy about. You're happy. So in the minute you're happy, collect and reflect. Okay, and don't touch it. Don't change your mind. All right, so there's, um, if you go again to, um, okay, I'm going back to the link, okay, if you click on the image, you will get a link to Alberta government. Anybody know where, well, we've got Canadians here, so you can tell us. Uh, anybody know what Alberta is? Well, there's a government, so what is Alberta? Is it a country? What is Alberta? Oops. Okay, there's the link. Alberta. Well, you can tell from the link where it, <clears throat> excuse me, where it is. Okay, CA stands for Albert. Uh, looks as, oh, that's interesting. That is so cute. That's right, Elena. Yes, Alberta is a, I never thought of it as a, as a person because Alberta for me, but it is a person, it could be a, a female name. You're, you're, you're right. I never thought about that. You see, Alberta is a male. Alberta is um, a female. Nice. But if you're a Canadian 
and you live in Alberta, you know that Alberta is a province. Thank you, Mizba. Is a province. Okay, in Canada, it's one of the 10. Canada has 10 provinces, like the states of the United States, but it, they're called provinces. That's right. And um, it's in the prairies, so it's uh, out west. If you go from the center, which is um, Ontario, and most people know Toronto. And they have an Alberta Learning Information Service. And that's where you're going to learn about showcasing achievements. Okay, they provide you with um, information. Okay, so uh, I shared the link with you. And I suggest you take a look at it. So you will learn how to showcase your achievements. And the government of Alberta. You know, a, a lot of uh, governments these days from different parts of the world, Australia does it, New Zealand. By the way, New Zealand developed um, what, we're, what we're going to talk about. New Zealand developed the Mahara, the government of New Zealand. Isn't that amazing? All right, so governments are doing so much um, for learning and to help citizens with e-portfolios too. So what Alberta, Alberta government has done. This is uh, what they did. Okay, this is the page. I just uh, uh, copied it. It's um, exactly, thank you, Helena, for writing that in. But see, I have a slide here. So what they do is they want to help you develop your e-portfolio. And uh, so, and to identify your skills and interests, notice what's here, exactly what we've been talking about record your achievements now you can record them in writing you should do it all record in writing record by voice uh, and it's so easy to do today right uh, you can use audacity you can use Camtasia you can well Camtasia costs money you can use screencast-o-matic okay there are a lot of ways of recording today you can even use uh, YouTube has a recorder uh, it's so easy to find recorders online that are completely free. So that's what the government of uh, Canada, well, Alberta province has done. Okay, so it's amazing. So uh, they even showcase your accomplishments in an interview. That's an idea of how to do it. Okay, so um, yes, yeah, a lot of work. So here they explain your portfolio it could be pages and a binder and they give you lots and lots of ideas and they also discuss the differences between an e-portfolio and a resume. Okay, so um, isn't that exciting? What is a binder? Well, a binder is like a folder and inside the, but you bind it, you put it together like a book. And um, there are different ways of binding it. Okay, that's one way of binding something. Okay, that's a bind. To bind means like a book to put it together. Here, uh, here's a great, um, this is from 1980. Uh, 1980 was first published in 1980. You can find it online. And it's called Sanity, Insanity, and Common Sense by these guys and notice how I keep it I keep it in a folder okay and the way it's put together you know I made holes and okay and these so there are different ways of binding and putting things together so that's what a binder is and there's also something called binder online that Shelley Terrell talks about that you might like okay so we're not gonna do that we're going to Mahara all right that's where we're going now and we don't have that much time so I extended a bit I apologize so uh, the Mahara again a government the government of New Zealand uh, developed Mahara well you mute oh you have the flu I'm sorry um, you might want to write about that your skills in coping with the flu or with any kind of sickness okay something that 
you might want that's a situation Helena that you might want to uh, document write about and follow up and see how you know what skills you have when you're sick yes everything about you everything uh, is you okay you don't have to publish it yet but yes really mm -hmm. what do you do when you're sick uh, so think of all the steps that you take and actually this may help somebody so we're collecting and reflecting so the Mahara this is the link to the Mahara that we'll be using I'll put the link in the chat box okay how many have an account in the Mahara okay if you don't you're going to create an account and that's where you're going to collect Okay, there's the Mahara. Eduardo, you don't. Well, Eduardo, it's time to learn about Mahara. I'm so glad you came because uh, here's something probably new. Okay, so uh, the link is correct. Mahara. And I have a video. Helena, do you have the video link maybe uh, to Mahara? Um, YouTube Nelly Deutsch okay this is how I find myself the YouTube video there I found it boy it's so easy to find things all you have to do is write your name all right you write this your is uh, Nelly Deutsch I'm gonna walk you through my horror first thing you do is you need to there you don't want to hear that right now uh, the Mahara it's seven minutes the recording is seven minutes. I recorded this for Helena, actually, but it's for everybody. Okay, but Helena was my uh, inspiration. Thank you, Helena, uh, for creating it. And a lot of, um, you know, a lot of the video tutorials that I create are in response. Well, most of them are in response to. Uh, people that I share information with. I don't think of you as a student, Helena, but I think of you as someone that I want to share information with. So thank you, Helena. She just added it. How come it's a different link? That's interesting. Your link looks different than mine, but it's the same one. Oh no, it's somebody else's. Nellie's recordings? What is that? That's not me. Oh my gosh. That's not me, Helena. You found somebody else. That's not me. I was wondering why I saw a different link. No, that's not this Nelly. It's red, but it's not me. I don't know who it is. Um, no, that's me. Okay, that's um, that's how to uh, what to do on the Mahara, uh, because Helena asked me a question and I uh, provided her with. Okay, so you're gonna go into the Mahara. That's what you're gonna do this week. Go into the Mahara and start collecting. Okay, start collecting and reflecting. Collect and reflect. Oh, really? Swedish producer and Nelly co owner. <laughs> That's not me. That's, uh, I have to look into that. It's not me. <laughs> no, no. It's not Nelly Deutsch. Yes, Maria. Do you want to put the link into tomorrow's class? Yes. Tomorrow we're starting the uh, Second Life. Well, not starting tomorrow, but tomorrow's the uh, pre pre uh, pre month. It's going to be a month of Second Life. Uh, something that you might want to learn. Thank you for mentioning that, uh, Maria. Maria is going to be one of the presenters, and Maria, you're going to get a certificate, and. Um, I hope you document how you prepare uh, for your presentation and the whole process and the skills that you use and of course you'll, your accomplishments and the certificate that you're going to get at the end of the month. Okay, Maria, so you're going to get a certificate. That's right, Second Life. Anybody have the link to, I don't know if Tom is here. Tom always is able to grab. I think Tom's not here right now. Uh, oh, yes, you are. Tom is always there ready to grab um, the links. So anybody have? Oh, is it Mahara? I heard, that's interesting, Balkis. I heard that Mahara means different things. I think in Arabic, 
it, it has an interesting meaning in yes exactly Belkis and um, Mahara um, means thinking thinking and I love this you know what this is I don't know if any of you I, my mother and it broke really sad but I have to get another one my mother bought me this it was on a chain it's a sign of friendship so actually the uh, the logo or banner whatever you want to call it from Ahara is um, is this beautiful green uh, it's part it's on a chain it's uh, and it's um, it's a sign of friendship I had one made of uh, stone and it broke so I don't have it anymore so Tom I'm wondering as well no sign up button for what oh you mean for the um, sign up button for for what oh you mean on the Mahara that link is too long uh, Tom Fullerton what do you mean no sign up button where I'm not sure oh on the Mahara there's no sign up button is that right um, that's weird oh I know oh wow you're right I took it off you're right you're right so Tom uh, I was getting a lot of spam so I made some changes and it looks like um, let's see if you can get uh, right I just noticed that you're right you're right you're right so if you could just uh, contact me I'll get you in there uh, let's see if we can um, yes sorry about that yes I took it off I just realized it uh, the other day so contact me Tom there's a you can fill in anybody who can't get into the Mahara um, send me a message and let me get the link to that there we go there's a contact here okay so just fill in this contact and I'll um, I'll help you get in okay there's the contact okay sorry about that yeah I took it off me too okay uh, yes I can fix it um, I will fix it but just to make sure send me an email so that uh, you don't forget okay so uh, I, I will fix it no not on Skype just fill in but Marie I think you're in there aren't you Marie I think you're in the Mahara there's a contact so you don't need to do that but uh, did you add second life yes there's a second life you're all invited to join so you can have a course that you can write down since we're starting now okay and uh, I'll see you next week and tomorrow if you're gonna come to the uh, second life opening ceremony all right so thank you everyone thank you for joining us I'll be adding this to YouTube with names or uh, the chat box oh and by the way you might want to copy the chat so copy the chat uh, I hope you can see it and then you can add the chat to your collection and then you can reflect on your experiences in the class so if you copy the chat you can add the chat to your e-portfolio and then reflect on it okay so that's something to think about all right so thank you everybody see you tomorrow and next week we're going to continue talking about e-portfolios next week for the whole month of april so bye bye everybody have a great week